What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another draft video. I logged on to about three different accounts today, guys, and the EA were handing out draft tokens. And I was like, let's go. We're going to log on to the old draft account, and we're going to get a draft token. We did not get a draft token. Why did I not get a draft token? That's outrageous. Either way, we are now on 40,000 coins which is good, 40,688 with this stuff on the trade pile. So, you know, we could probably assign ourselves about 45K in total, which is a great spot to be in, you know. Um, it, we, we will already at this point in time find it very, very difficult to not be able to sustain multiple draft entries for a good while. However, what have we got? Oh, my favorite formation. This is the formation that I actually use in my regular Ultimate Team RTG. Hmm. Ollie Watkins, nice. Ezra Burge, nice. David Ginla, beautiful. Hyung Min Son, Finesse Shot Plus. You know I want to. I'm not going to. I am going to take this Zay Roberto because he is one of the new heroes. He can play left back, left mid, centre mid as well on this formation anyway. He's got incredibly well-rounded stats. He played for everyone. He's got whip pass, set piece, first touch, relentless, long throw, player and technical plus. And then at left mid, he's got winger plus plus. At centre mid, he's got box to box plus. And at left back, he's got wing back plus. That is our thing. Guys, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, feel free to leave a like on the video. Um, it does help the uh, channel out, of course, because it lets YouTube know you like the videos and it'll put it in your algorithm a bit more. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So we've got Mr. Canu here, false nine plus plus, three star, three star, six foot five. He's not a great card. We've got Gomez. How he doesn't have aerial plus, I don't know. But aerial, power header plus, finesse shot, first touch. Target forward plus plus. Great shooting. Good dribbling. Good physical. Three-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, mostly lengthy, six foot two. Or we could take Sasic, who does have aerial plus, but is only five foot nine. I think I'm going to go with Gomez on this one. Two Bundesliga heroes in the squad and the... Th I, I really want to take Griezmann because he's got finesse shot plus Hunter. But no, I'm going to take Sasic because this is a hero draft, baby. Let's go. For cheap, safe and fast FC25 coins, go to U4GM. They have over 8,000 comments on Trustpilot with a 4.6 rating. And to get 5% off your order, use code NEP at checkout. Check out the link in the description. Now, let's get back to the video. All right, with that, guys, let's get our center attacking midfielder. That's bad, isn't it? We'll take uh, Zielinski looks reasonable. Not even a cam, is it? Center mid, five-star weak foot for Zielinski. Reasonable stats on him. We'll take him. He bored me. He bored me. It's not his fault. It kind of is his fault. Um, Blas Portu. We've got a new uh, Team of the Week impact right now as well, guys. Buendia, March, or Diuria, who we will take for that Syria. <laughs> Syria, Syria link. And then in at DM. We've got no links for these guys. We are going to go with Andre. He's got a very, very good card. Even with no chemistry. Three star, three star, but very, very, very nice, well rounded stats. Long ball pass intercept as well, which is good. And he's got holding plus, which is... I've got Declan Rice in that role. He's holding plus plus. Just a bit better, but not bad. Um, Munoz, not good. wan not good. Priore, not good. God, none of it's good. We'll take wan because, you know, English. Easier to link, I think. We will certainly take Van de Ven from that pile of, pile of crud outside of him. I'm going to need another Premier League player or two, though, please. A Van Dyke would go down a treat right now. We've got Pau Torres or Acherby. Acherby, of course, is very good for the chemistry on the cards that I hope aren't in the team at the end of this draft. And so I'm not going to take him. We are going to take Pau Torres on a shadow. He does now get one chemistry, and so do all of the other Premier League players. Interesting, he doesn't have any defensive play styles. 
Mostly lengthy six foot three, though. It's, it's a good card outside of the lack of play styles. And then in at left back. It yeah, will go over Mr. Leaf Davis. Some more chemistry on the Premier League players. And then in goal, we will definitely go Vicario. Spurs links are great. Prem links are great. The Italian link is good. He's taller than Raya as well. Six foot four, four star weak foot. He's a, he's a good goalkeeper in game because of that. And he's got glove chem style, which is also uh, quite very nice, isn't it? It was quite very nice. So that's the starting lineup, guys. The back line needs a bit of work. The midfield needs uh, a couple of players as well. Uh, but the, the rest of the team is quite tidy at a goal. Um, but if we could just... Yes. Oh, my days. This, <laughs> this might be one of the best selection of players we've ever had. Trent at right back is something I don't want to turn down. In fact, I might even put Trent at DM and Andre at centre mid. Ashley Cole at left back is a humongous upgrade. And obviously with an icon links, great for chemistry. Cab de Villa we've used, so I'll say no to him. Kyle Walker is also great, but man, Trent or Cole. Trent or Cole. Well, I've used Cole before. I haven't used Trent before. Trent's going in there. That's one upgrade on the back line. Give us a second one. Juranovic. McLean. Da Ooh, Damian. No, Pal Torres is solid, to be fair. I could put Damian in, though. At right mid. Or at right back and get Zielinski out. Or I've got Juranovic, who obviously gets loads of good chemistry. So let's get Zielinski out anyway. Let's pop Trent in at DM. Let's get Juranovic in at right back. This draft is starting to cook a little bit, I can't lie. Oh, this draft is starting to cook a little bit, I can't lie. This is the brand new Leandro Trossard, which under normal circumstances, I would take no question about it. Four star, five star, quality little card with some really good like properties. We've used Verts before, but this Wesley Schneider, it has to be. Whip pass, long ball pass, ping pass, incisive pass, first touch, power shot, and set piece. He's got playmaker plus as a centre mid. He's got cracking stats. And he's got four star, five star as well. So in at centre mid, he goes. It's a shame he doesn't have right mid. But this draft is very good. Four heroes now, guys. Four heroes. We've got Loman, Andrich, OK, Casemiro, and Kessie. I'm going to take Loman. Does she fit in that right mid spot a bit better? Yeah, she does. Pop her out there instead of uh, the Italian. Okay, I think we'll go with... Uh... We got any Brazilians? Yes. I think we're going to go with Pepe at right, right mid. We just want that pace, you know. We lose one chemistry on him, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, we're going with a bit of pace there, which is good. We've got Dasambu. Rodetsky, I'm interested in. Morris, no. Openda, good to have on the bench. Bull is a very good card, but... Oh, actually. Actually, let's do that. Lose seven there. Gain only two back there. But I just feel like that is a better team overall. That is a better team overall. Four more to go. Oh, yeah, the bad. Three more to go. Yeah, give us another blessed player. Come on, one more good player. Please. Never mind. Never mind. Um, good team. Good team. Let's get Premier League manager, please. Didn't. 24, 25, 24, 24, 25. This is a good draft. This is a very good draft. Let me set some uh, tactics up for this. In the old team management, edit the tic tac. We're going to go to uh, counter, high line, player roles, target four plus plus. Love that. Target four plus plus. Love that. He's just going to be a uh, wide mid attacking. Nope. Inside forward. That is where I do have um, my player, but he's just got to be playmaker. Love that. Trent has just got to be. Uh, Enter half. Let's try it. 
Let's try it. Why not? So him as an, a wing back, Juranovic as a wing back, and Bull on inside forward, ideally. It looks like a five at the back. This isn't how my tactic is set up on my own team, but let's see how this plays. All right, round one. Buenos Aires FC. Here we go. What are we up against? FC Seoul. Howard in goal. Five at the actual five at the back with Ronaldo and Lizarazu. Otherwise, a pretty stinky draft. A pretty stinky draft. Let's go. Come on. I've I've got a good draft, man. I don't even need to. We don't even need to sweat. Do you know what I mean? Not ball. Hey, foul ref. Wait, guys, I know it's going to sound like a bit of copium and a bit of, like, excuses. I couldn't see what I was doing. Hangs that. Oh, it's actually squeezed in. I can't believe that. That's it with the finish. I'm pretty sure that took a deflection. Hey, this Pepe's actually been pretty legit. Here we go, ball. Hangs that. Big save from Howard. I didn't even need to shoot there, to be fair. I could have drilled it. I could have crossed it. A lot of things I could have done with that. I reckon if I can get a second goal real quick, guys, this guy might be out. He's like, he's just, he's just not very good. I can't lie. But I'm struggling to like create that chance that I want. Because he's five at the back, he's just got uh, obviously, but a lot of people back. Quality, lovely ball into uh, Sasic there. Her positioning was absolutely fantastic. What's Sasic in the box? There you go. Bangs that. Missed it. I wanted it for the header. I wanted it for the header. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he quit after that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'll see you guys in round two. All right, guys. Round two. Here we go. What are we up against? ESV Westphalia. What has he got for a draft? I don't know. <laughs> why Why would I be able to see it? This is FC25, god damn it. Um, he has not got five at the back, which is nice. Very nice. Juranovic is getting a bit far up there for my liking. We'll just take those easy goals. Lovely stuff. That's a good play. Good save. I can't get the ball out properly. Oh, I should, I should, I should, have, I should have just had the ball there. That's a nice finish from him. I really feel like I should have just had the ball there, though. After I defended like quite well, not even quite well, I defended it very well in general. To not come away with the ball there is a bit harsh. And, and quite honestly, the story I think of a lot of people's lives on this game has gone through me there. Yeah, the story of a lot of people's uh, engagement of this game, I would definitely say, is uh, rebounds and and whatnot. Really just letting everyone down, isn't it? Zeroberto gets that bull out. Maybe not. Man, I don't, I don't know if Zeroberto is him, guys. There's another good tackle. Just kidding. Could save Vicario. Let's cross that to the back post for, uh, for Sasic there. Come on. Lovely goal. Lovely goal. This guy I'm playing against, guys, right here, he's a strong player. He's a really strong player. I've got to make sure I make the most of my chances. Yeah, Schneider's in. Ball's not there. The ball's not there. Ball is there. Oh, he's, he's got away with it. He's got away with it. Oh, he's got away with it twice. No way. This guy's being handed two goals. This guy's been handed. Oh, I feel like I have to work so hard for my goals. Come on, let's go. The lovely goal. I need to find an extra pass there from somewhere. Just backwards one and then forwards, you know. What for? What for? Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I've, I genuinely felt like I just tackled him and came away with the ball, but okay. Okay. 
What a miss. Oh, he was offside. Never mind. Just kidding. Where to go, man? This guy's getting a free kick. For me looking at him, man. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Okay. Okay. Well, that'll be that, guys. That'll be that. I don't, I've, I'm in a bit of disbelief in this one. I can't lie. I can't lie. Well, there we have it, guys. We lose this one, 5-3. Like, he was a good player. I, I genuinely mean that. Like, I said it even when I was winning 1-0, 2-1, and 3-2. He was a good player. I just... This is just one of those games, man, where I just felt like everything that could have gone his way in any kind of 50-50 just went his way in a 50-50. And it's so triggering, man. Like, this goal here, it's a first-time pass. You, look, you could see it with, like, with the way... The way she takes the touch, man. Like, you can literally see it. Look here. It's a pass, and then it's a pass, right? I've got three players in that space, and then I've got a counter-attack. And at this point, it's 4-3. If I hit this counter-attack, who knows if it becomes 4-4. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does. He takes that one extra touch. I don't want I don't want that crap. She takes that... I want to, like, slow-mo. There we go. She takes that one extra touch. Now? Now pass. But no, she takes it to settle it and then tries to pass it. And it's just unnecessary. It's just unnecessary. And then it's an easy goal. You know, you're just not going to miss that. You're just not going to miss that. And it's little things like that today that just bothered me a lot. This here from Anyaki, that's just pacing it. I don't know what the defender's doing there. He gets caught all over the place. Penalty that I didn't think was. Oh, that's a band of Ven Tacker. Oh, it's look at it. Oh, I don't like I know I know some of you guys like to hate watch, right? And you love to you love to watch the creators when they're like having meltdowns or whatever. This isn't like a meltdown thing. This is a like the game is real trash at times thing. Look at Van der Ven's foot, man. He moves his foot that he's about to tackle the ball with there out of the way to try and tackle it with his left foot. I just don't get it. And then Rui Costa squeezes through somehow. And then it's a nice finish as well. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying it's not a nice finish beyond that as well. It is a nice finish beyond that. That's a nice goal as well from Lamine Mal. No, no faults on that one, but that's just tough, man. That's just real tough. That's real tough. However, I said to you, I think it was in yesterday's video, one of my viewers was purposely quitting in the second round to try and get some certain players from common gold packs and he was making consistent profit we've got two gold packs and a jumbo gold pack we didn't get much today by way of match coins but that doesn't mean that we can't get anything otherwise um we've got a taliso to go a lee jay sung to go and a popov to go uh the healing will sell the marksman we will sell the rest of it will go somebody in the chat yesterday in the comments yesterday said that they sell this stuff because it all sells for 250 the reason why it sells is because it discards for 242 um and so like i, I don't know if people just buy it to, i don't know if it's worthwhile discarding it but um yeah if you uh if you discard you get 242 coins if you sell it at 250 coins you lose out on the tax you end up with less coins um so you're better off uh discarding those items unless they actually sell um, we will probably make some good profit here. Not good profit, that's a lie. We will probably make some profit here. Um, just from the sheer volume of items that we're going to be picking up. You know, what did we start on? We started on 40,000 coins. With those two discard sets, we're already up to 30,500 with the other cards on the trade pile. Um, and then whether we get out of this to actually sell. Uh, Akira and Tyranny. Damn. Um, so there will be... Yeah, there, there will be. I, I think we'll actually be well over 40,000 coins by the end of this. The, some of these commons will go for the 600, 700 that I've got listed, listed them at. Uh, some of them will go for like, you know, 300 to 400. Um, but overall, I do think that, yeah, again, that just the number of items is going to really set us into a nice spot right here. Even once we uh, discard what we've got here. So I'm actually going to keep the Iridivisi. 
And I'm going to keep the no league one. We'll, we'll discard. Eredivisie, I reckon, could be something that sells uh, over time. And look at that, man. Nearly 3,000 coins in discard there. So we made about like, what, five to 6,000 in discards. We're already at 34,807. So we're already only 5K short. Imagine if that was a walkout. We're already only 5K short of where we started. And we've still got... I wonder if some stuff sold straight away. Um, yeah, some of it did. Uh, we've still got, from this net new setup, that four players, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten players. Ten players, that's like 5K there. You know, even if they sell, on average, 500 coins plus the rest. We at least broke even on this one. Um, but that is going to be it for, for today, guys. Uh, again, unfortunate. Man, I, I, feel, I feel like the game was a bit... I don't know, man. Maybe it was just a bit of, uh, bit of head loss. After that penalty might have been the truth of the matter, but I just felt like the game was against uh, against me on that one. But that is going to be the end of the video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.